Hey guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to week 27, which means I'm officially in my third trimester. So that means I have 10 more weeks until I'm full term, and then baby can come whenever he would like. And I have 40 weeks, or 40, holy crap, and I have 13 weeks until I'm 40 weeks, and um, it's my due date. So that is super crazy. Um, I feel like part of me feels like it's going to go by really fast and I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm in labor already, what? And then another part of me kind of feels like this last trimester is going to be the slowest. Um, for me, the first trimester was pretty fast. The beginning of the second trimester was equally fast. Um, the end of this last second trimester seemed like it kind of drugged a little bit. I think it's going to speed up a bit because I'm going to be starting to see the doctor a bit more and just getting bigger and I don't know. So um, if you watched my last weekly vlog, you know that I went to the doctor today. I got weighed and my weight is 187, so that means I'm 13 pounds up from um, my pre-pregnancy weight and my doctor was actually super happy with me he um, came in and was like I'm so proud of you and I was like why <laughs> and it was because I finally gained enough weight I'm finally where I should be in regards to my pregnancy um, kind of at like the lower end of where I should be but I'm still in that average you know like <laughs> I think it's on average for my height and everything like that um, and for how big the baby is I'm supposed to be between like 188 and um, one ninety uh, five or something like that, and I'm 189. So he was he was, he was actually like really happy and was like, yeah, you can even gain a few more pounds. And I'm like, guess I'll try. I don't know. <laughs> and um, I thought it was crazy. I last time I was on the scale, I was um, 184. No, yeah, so. I was like, oh crap, three more pounds, you know, but I guess that's pretty good. Three pounds in a month. So that's not horrible. Um, yeah, so they measured my fundal height, and I'm measuring um, somewhere between a week and two weeks ahead. She was kind of having a little bit of trouble finder, finding the top of my uterus. Because kind of, I don't know, it just kind of feels weird up there. So, um, somewhere in there, but either way, he is still measuring big. Um, he, they checked his heartbeat. It was 148, which was awesome, because last time it was like 139, <laughs> and I felt that was like really low, so that it's one up almost 10 beats. <laughs> I just feel like that's good. I, I know it's so silly, because I, like, it's totally fine to be at 139, but I just felt that was like really low. I guess I'm still in the like the first trimester phase where like baby's heartbeat is like 170, you know. So hearing that's 130, I'm like, oh my gosh, what's wrong, you know. Anyways, so um, he asked me if I had any contractions. I told him no, only when I'm like doing walking um, more than normal walking, walking across the house. Like I think I was telling you last week, doesn't bother me, but. Um, walking up the road or stuff like that, you know, and I get really tight and it kind of hurts and he said to carry water with me and to sit down immediately and drink water and if it didn't clear up, you know, then to like worry a little bit. Um, he also said if I get more than three in an hour, no matter what I'm doing, um, I should come in and I've never, I don't think I've gotten more than three in an hour, I think I've gotten maybe two in an hour when I had went for like a pretty long walk, so um, two painful ones, like, I'll get the non-painful kind, like, definitely Braxton Hicks, you know, um, I'll get those, like, a couple times, but they don't hurt, and I'm just kind of like, oh, that's kind of tight, but, um, actual painful ones, like, I, I think I've maximum got, like, two, um, usually it's just one, and then I'm like, oh, I need to walk back now, so, yeah, that was that, um, the nurse, uh, said that it was time for me to get my glucose test, which I'm not happy about that. I've heard so many horror stories. Um, but 
what can you do? So she actually was going to send me over, and um, so the doctor came in. He was like, yeah, you can do that anytime in the next week or whatever. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, I was going to do it right now. Walk over to the lab since it's like 10 feet away from the doctor's office and like 20 feet away from my office. So I was going to walk over to the lab and do that, but he was like, didn't you eat breakfast? And I was like, yeah, because he had seen me at breakfast. <laughs> and he's like, oh, well, you can't do that. You have to be on an empty, well, you have to have had nothing to eat or drink in eight hours or three hours. Um, water's okay, but nothing else. So I was like, oh, and he's like, well, you can do it. He's all, when did you eat? Um, breakfast. I said oh, around 8.30. He's like, well, you can do it like 11.30, which is a half hour before lunch, so <laughs> I was like, no, I'll just wait till tomorrow, because I was hungry already, so. <laughs> so tomorrow I just won't eat breakfast at work. I'll go over, they'll draw my blood, and then they'll give me my little cup of orange nasty, and then, um, hour, I wait an hour, um, can't eat or drink anything then, and then I come back, and, um, they draw my blood, they draw my blood again, and I guess it'll probably be, like, a couple days until I find out what the results were, or it'll be, like, a, we'll call you if there's an issue thing, so, so I do that tomorrow, um, yeah, next, oh, um, while I was there, I asked the receptionist for, I don't have it with me, I left it at work, I left, I asked the receptionist for a pamphlet, um, for how much they charge for like 3D and 4D ultrasounds and blah 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 and um, I guess since I work there and um, I don't know uh, the usual cost is like a, almost 200 bucks and they're giving it to me for like 110 so that was cool and that comes with um, a CD of the pictures a DVD of um, the actual like session and then actual printed pictures I assume um, I think that's what they said so I was like okay well I'm gonna take it home and talk with my husband and you know see when we can do it and I was thinking I'd probably end up doing it around like 30 weeks or so and uh, she was like well you're kind of you're measuring big already aren't you and I was like yeah I'm just, you know, just a little and she's like well usually we say 28 weeks is the best time to get them um, it's the closest you're going to get to what baby actually will look like um, without him being all mushed and she didn't say it quite like this but basically you know without the baby being all cramped and maybe risk him not really be moving much so it kind of takes away the whole point of the 40 ultrasound um, just stuff like that so I was like oh okay I was like well I'll call and then she was looking at the ultrasound technician schedule and she was booked like almost all of next week except for like one time on Tuesday and one time on Wednesday so I was like oh just put me down for Wednesday so we got Wednesday at like 3.15 so I'll have something to talk about my next um, vlog as well but um, so I picked Wednesday because my husband had been having Wednesdays off and so I was like, yeah, you can go with me, and then I got home, I was all excited, I was telling him, and I found out that he doesn't have this Wednesday off, so he won't be there, which is kind of a bummer, um, I'm gonna be, like, doing it by myself, which is lame, but my parents, um, they'd like to be there, but they're stayed away, so they won't be there, and I don't have any real close friends up here, they're all down south, so that's fine, I'll just take it as a mommy and baby bonding experience <laughs> but yeah um that's pretty much it i guess um i'll show you my stomach i feel like he kind of moved up a little i don't feel quite as like i'm definitely shorter of breath than i was last week and i don't feel like he my stomach's quite as low uh, oh first off show you my shirt's kind of baggy let me so this is, I don't know, my, my stomach just looks different to me, maybe, maybe it's just my imagination. But like, he goes all the way up when I'm sitting, he goes all the way up, like right under my boobs, there's like, no area. Um, in fact the other day he was like kicking and I'm sitting there and he like kicked my boob, I was like, that is weird, definitely odd feeling. Anyways. Um... I got more stretch marks. 
Um, I have these that I was showing you the last time. And then I have kind of like in the same area, I have them over here. You can't really see them yet. They're still kind of in that like white phase. You can kind of see them right there. But you can see my line a little bit better now. Um, my belly button's still in any, barely, barely, barely. And different ways I sit kind of pokes out a little bit. But my stomach is super hard. Like there's just nothing. Here's the side again. Let me see that. Uh, you can't see it without light. I like blend into the wall. I feel really white. So. See, he just seems like really high to me, like he's like way up here. And like last time I felt like he was kind of like, kind of like at a downward slope, you know, and this time he's kind of, I don't know. Anyways, um, so yeah, I will see you guys next week for week 28. Thanks for watching, bye.